Hi guys, I'm sorry for my mess. This is my messy studio. So, I was wondering if I can use this mixer by MIDI to control my faders on the Cubase. I have a Cubase 5. I also use the Studio One. But because I saw some videos using this Cubase and all the versions with this mixer, I thought I'm gonna try it. But I've been fighting for four hours and finally I got somewhere. They don't explain on the video how to do it. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's a it's a bit tricky. You have to adjust some parameters on the Cubase and also on the mixer. So this is how it works. And then very shortly I will post a video how to do it. So as you see I don't have the drums because it's a I plug in, so I'm not using it through the mixer, but I got the audio tracks. So as you see, piano, bass, synth, rhythm guitar, solo. So this way, you have. You got 16 tracks to control with the faders from the mixer by MIDI. I'm using right now this Edito UM, it's an old one, UM1S. The thing is I didn't want to use it with a project mix because uh, I might get rid of it. So I can use the, the DG or 2 with the ADA by Berger and have 16 tracks. So I got another car somewhere. I bought a Euphoria by, by Berenger as well, the UMC 1820. And uh, I'm gonna try as well with this. So very shortly I will post a video how to do this. This way saved me money to spend maybe 900 bucks, I think it is. The Presonus Fader port. And I can do not all the same things, but at least to control the faders. Then I'm gonna use a, a little box with a with a main and and all this switching for the program. But this way, I have the mixer alive again, as it's been uh, saving the box for years, and uh, um, and I have two of them. I might even say the two of them I have 32 tracks to control by faders. This way, I did it. This time with 16. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and keep keep tuning. So I will I will try to show you how to do it. Thanks a lot. Bye.